Happy Sunday morning, Dolly friends. I thought I would come on this morning and share my Jude with you. My dear Dolly friend, Jan Binkley, <laughs> has been waiting for me to share Jude with, with you for quite a while now. We talked about this at the Kansas Doll Show, and I promised I would bring him on. And she has been waiting patiently. So today is the day. I was hoping for some sunshine, but it is raining out, so um, the lighting won't be the best. But I have plans with my Megan later, so I thought I would go ahead and get this done. So you can see this sweet little face. Yeah, he has been wearing this uh, long thermal romper for quite a while now with these little fuzzy socks that I just love on him. And I just haven't had the heart to change him. This was a gift from my dear Dolly friend, Jan Binkley. And it has, as you can see, a giraffe on the front in light blue. And it's so soft and cozy on him. And he it stays on a shelf in my nursery. So it's kind of nice for him to have something um, comfortable to wear. Uh, this is his puppy that also came from the Kansas Doll Show last year. And a little Pazzy clip that I found for him at the Kansas Doll Show. So let me show you. Um, oh, I also wanted to say that he was reborn by Colette Bivens. And um, he is just a heart stealer with his little quiff here on top of his head. <laughs> yeah, he is a sweetheart. So let me show you what I'm going to change him in for you this morning. Okay, so this little set here, look at this teddy bear. Isn't he sweet? Um, this little set was a gift from my dear Dolly friend, Claudia Tronka. And she sent this to us a little bit ago. And I've never put it on him. And I've had it sitting up there by him on the shelf because I knew I wanted to try it on him. It's a white onesie with a sweet little teddy bear and some little tan pants that are real soft. And then I had these little cream-colored booties that I thought I would put on him to match. What do you think? <laughs> I thought that would be nice and cozy for this rainy day. So let's start getting him changed. Okay, so I wanted to show off his little onesie here that says Baby Bear. A little bit big on him, but not too bad. And I wanted to share some of his details because I just love the way Colette paints her babies. Look at his little blushed knees. See his little blushed knees? <laughs> and his little feet. See? But look at this little blushed knee. Oh, he is so cute. And, um, of course, his sweet little hands. His little nails are tipped real gently. And then... I don't know if you can catch here the veining. See the veining in his little arms, see? So sweet, so sweet baby boy. And then another really cute detail that I love here, I'm gonna turn his little head, is the mottling on the side. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Can you see the mottling on the side of his face? I see that all the time on little ones. Um, that sweet little side mottling. So, yeah, he is just a little wonder boy. <laughs> so, I just wanted to share Colette's painting with you. Um, she is a wonderful artist, a very nice lady, and she her babies are really affordable, which I like. You know, she 
keeps her prices reasonable and you get all the artistry. It's all there for such a great price. So yeah, I can't say enough about her work. So let me put on his little pants. I think I'm going to actually put the little pants underneath the onesie. <laughs> and I know that's a different look, but I don't want to cover up his little baby bear here. So I'm going to try that and just see how it works out for him. Okay guys, so here he is, sweet little Jude, all dressed up in his adorable outfit from our dear Dolly friend, Claudia. And Claudia, I did decide to put the little pants on the inside. They fit him perfectly. I just didn't want to cover up the teddy bear and the baby bear written on the front. Um, because when I put the pants on the outside, um, all you could see was the teddy bear's head. So I thought, no, I want to enjoy the complete teddy bear. So he's got his little outfit on and he's got his little cream colored booties, as you can see to keep his little feet warm while he's sitting on the shelf. And I've just set him here with his puppy dog and I put his passy clip back on. And he has, I, I've got to share this teddy bear. I found it at an antique shop. It's a little Russ teddy bear and it has a little passy attached to it. Can you see there? Little pink feet, a little vintage teddy bear. And there's his sweet little quiff <laughs> on the top of his little head. I wish you could see his eyes. He's got the bluest eyes, but with the rain and my lighting, you're just not going to see his blue eyes this morning. And I've got a little bottle from my nursery sitting here beside him. And this adorable vintage baby book. Snuggle Time Cuddly Baby. Isn't this baby cute with the teddy bear and the duck? Oh my goodness, looks like he's got a little worn, worn out blanket, okay? And so I'm going to show you my favorite page in here. Come to the back. Look at this page, guys, cuddly blanket. He's sucking his little thumb. There's his little feet. It says, feel how soft and snuggly it is, this little blanket. And so here's his little soft yellow blanket. And look who's underneath, another little teddy bear. So I thought this worked perfect with this outfit, Claudia. What do you think? <laughs> My daughter likes the page. Let's see, there's a page here uh, with a little turtle. <laughs> and this one's cute too, because it says cuddly rabbit and look at his little ear. It's all soft. Oh, sucking his thumb, too cute too cute. So yeah, this just sits up on the shelf with my little babies. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> uh, sorry the lighting's not better for you, Jan. I know you've been dying to see sweet little Jude. And um, I'm sorry I've been so absent in YouTube lately um, with watching videos and commenting. Um, it has been crazy busy here this week. Uh, it was Missouri Star Quilt's uh, birthday bash here in Hamilton, and we had like 2,000, 3,000 extra people in town from all over the world, Canada, um, Seattle, everywhere you can think of, the, like lining the streets, all the cars had different um, license plates. And I even had a Dolly friend from uh, Wichita, Kansas um, that watches my channel. And she stopped in to say hello. I was hoping to see you again, and I hope I didn't miss you with all of the people. Oh, my goodness. But they were really sweet. We had a parade in town, and um, these are all quilters, and they come to see uh, Jenny Doan, and um, she's going on a two-year mission. So people came from everywhere to say goodbye to her and to get the good deals at the shops and just to come together and celebrate. And so they had a shop where you could make bracelets, I guess. And <laughs> look, look at all these bracelets they handed out to me um, as they came by. Um, some of them say cute little things on it, like I love Jenny for um, Jenny Dawn and Hey Boo. 
which will be perfect for um, Halloween. And this little bracelet here that says, love to quilt. And fabric themed here with a little cute little duck. And a little heart bracelet that'll actually work again on Valentine's Day. And then this pretty little bracelet here that says so on it. So yeah, they would come in and visit and talk to me about different things. <laughs> and I would check them out and they would hand me a bracelet. How sweet is that? Just makes you feel special for a minute. And we all need that sometimes, don't we? Okay, well, I guess that's all my banter for this morning. Um, I hope everybody has a relaxing Sunday. I can't believe a new week is getting ready to start. So um, thanks for coming by to see Sweet Jude today. And um, hopefully we'll see you soon. I have all these little boys that I need to change. So um, stay tuned. Continue finding joy in the little things. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you again, Claudia, for this darling outfit. And thank you, Jan, for loving my Jude. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.